Boujou, Kinemagi and Nene Ireland and Dijnikas, and welcome to this production of Support Coach Television. Today's episode from Support Coach, The American Flag, A Long, Colorful History, Second Read. Our second read skill this week is text structure. Text structure is how a text is organized. A chronological text structure describes events in the order in which they happen and uses words such as first, next, and later. Chronos is a word for time. A compare and contrast text structure shows similarities and differences between ideas or subjects and uses words such as both, like, different, and unlike. A selection may con contain both structures. For example, a historical nonfiction text may show how events unfold over time, as well as comparing people or events. This text would have a compare and contrast structure within a larger chronological structure. Let's read the paragraph. Diane Fossey and Jane Goodall are famous scientists. Both women traveled to Africa in their 20s to study primates and both spent the rest of their lives researching their subjects. Fossey, an American born in 1932, lived among the mountain gorillas of Rwanda. Goodall, an expert on chimpanzees, was born in London in 1934. Although their careers ran along parallel paths, the two have different personalities. Fossey was an activist who made many enemies through her intense efforts to protect gorillas. Goodall, although serious, is less aggressive. In her research, she mostly kept her distance from the chimps. Both women were devoted to the animals they loved. Diane Fossey died in 1985, but Jane Goodall is still alive, lecturing to an eager public. Why does the paragraph use a compare and contrast structure rather than a chronological structure? Underline the similarities of the subjects and the differences. So let's look for our similarities, famous scientists, traveled to Africa in their 20s to study primates, spent the rest of their lives researching their subjects. You see a lot of both, both, um, that some hints there. Now, let's see what else is the same. Careers ran along parallel paths. Both women were devoted to the animals they love. Now let's get the things that are different. So we have our comparing. Um, Fossey lived among the mountain gorillas of Rwanda. Godot is an expert on chimpanzees. Although they're, here's our path, the two have different personalities. Fossey was an activist who made many enemies through intense efforts. Godot is less aggressive. Fossey died in 1985, Goodall still alive lecturing. So you can see there are things that are the same and different. And I could have further broken this down into things that were unique to Goodall and things that were unique to Fossey, which essentially would create a colorful version of a Venn diagram. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this. As you read, record your answers to questions about text structure on the close reading worksheet on page 280. You may also choose to do the Google form that is attached in this profile here. I hope you all have a mental gizhi god. You may now turn to the Google Classroom to complete the assignment. Bama pee.